Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. You still got some hearts on your head. Yep, still got those little bing bongs. I like that every... Uh, dingle dangers? Dingle dingle dangers? I'm pretty sure I called it something else, actually. Dingle bangers? Bingle bangers, like bangle here. <laughs> yeah, I just got a uh, present from Top Idol Bingle. <laughs> So, I do like the fact that even though idols are more of a Japanese concept, uh, that they just straight up left it into Animal Crossing. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. Thank you, localization team, for just <laughs> not renaming that. So, I'm going to go to the museum and check out this ultra hand that we have. Oh, yeah. Because you were, like, going nuts over it yesterday. It, it, all it is is an extending hand with a, on a... Oh. <laughs> on a crank, but it's one of the first toys Nintendo ever made. Oh, okay, like the Those, guy, like grabber things, uh huh, like that you have. Yeah. That you push a button and it like grabs. Yeah, things. and it extends out and grabs things. Oh, okay. Well, it extends then. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I've seen those like weird grabber things mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. like the store. But yeah, that was made by Gunpai Yukoi. Oh, okay. Gunpai Yukoi is also the same person who came up with the D pad, the Game Boy. Um, the analog stick. Oh, okay. This guy invented a lot of video it's a games. A lot of things. hardware stuff. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That's cool. That's something you don't really think about. You think a lot about software and games and stuff, but I don't think you really think that much about hardware. Like, yeah. someone has to design that. Before there was a D-pad, it was just, like, another four buttons. Hmm. And... Gotcha. Which is kind of what they went back to for the Switch. Yeah. But, uh, yeah... A switch has so many buttons. He also came up with the 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 dual screen uh, game and watch. Oh, okay. So cool. And he hired Shigeru Miyamoto to make Donkey Kong. Donkey really? Kong was his first game. Uh, was Miyamoto's first he found game. Found young young Miyamoto wandering the streets. Yeah, just <laughs> smoke. <laughs> Apparently, Miyamoto had a really bad smoking habit. Oh, really? And he would waste all of his money playing pachinko. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> these are these are like true behind the scene Nintendo stories. Damn it, I keep going to all you, the wrong You're rooms. going to everyone. I know. But the I'll, one. So I'm thinking of my old town where I have the Nintendo rooms are across from each other, and uh -huh. they're in the first two yeah. across from each other. So I'm going into those thinking this is the same game. Yeah, I don't yeah. come in here that you're often. Good. So actually, I don't know if I have room. In here. I guess I do. But yeah, this is uh, before Nintendo made video games. Though this was the first item. That Gunpai Yukoi made that what? that was a success. <laughs> it got Nintendo out of the card bin, uh, card business and into the toy business. Was it just like something to fuck around with? It was just like yeah. a little toy or he something? He just, he was just, apparently he was just fucking around with this thing he made in the office. And the president of Nintendo at the time was like, that's awesome. Let's that looks really it. cool. Let's make that and sell it. And it was a huge hit all across Japan. I, of yeah. like the I love those like weird little things. Like every time I see them in the store, I have to play with them. It was like a huge hit in like 1955. Okay. Like it was I mean, the Christmas of 1955. They know a lot going on in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a really shame, actually. Um, Gunpai Yukoi died a tragic death. He died right after his only failure at Nintendo, mm -hmm. which was the Virtual Boy. Oh. He invented the Virtual Boy. Man, why are you going to bum me out like that? And then he got into a car accident right after that. But, uh... Great. <laughs> no, it's actually... It's okay, <laughs> because the Virtual Boy's kind of... It's kind of amazing. Yes, it was a failure... But it's a really. It a, I awesome. think it was a failure because they didn't have the. It wasn't the, the tech wasn't ready. They didn't yet. have the tech to support the idea. Yeah, they yeah. had an idea. Now because like VR could do, headsets yeah, are all the rage now. They're just like let's do VR, but it was like super fucking early for VR. It was also the first Mario Tennis. Mm -hmm. It was also the first uh, Wario game. Really? Yeah. It was also. It's the only Water, water World, World game. game. <laughs> My God. <laughs> And fun fact, it was ambidextrous because really? uh huh on both hand uh, both sides of the hands it had D pads and two buttons on both sides and triggers. That's cool. And in deck actually plays in part with our National Day. Is it National Left Handed Day or something? It is. Today is National Left Handers nice. Day. Nice. So approximately ten percent of the population is a Southpaw scientist. 
excuse me, is a Southpaw. Sorry. A I Southpaw think, scientist? Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Did you know that if you're left-handed, you're also a scientist? You're also a scientist. Also, I goofed the video a bit. Sorry, everybody. There we go. It's oh my back. Goodness. Are you adjusting it in the middle of the... I, 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 I adjusted it wrong. You ingested it? I ingested it. <laughs> So, if you're wondering what the hell just happened, while I was so excited to talk about left-handed people and I got excited about, wait a minute, every left-handed person's a scientist? <laughs> I accidentally clicked my the mouse with my phone, which I'm reading everything on, and it moved the screen a little <laughs> bit while we're recording it. Okay. So, that's fun. That's that fun. A little behind the scenes there. Yep. <laughs> Great. And see, I was doing it with my left hand, and I'm not left-handed. All right. Anyways, scientists don't know why a person will be left-handed, but it's more likely a child will be left-handed if one parent is. Parents of left-handed children used to force them to use their right hands, but left-handedness, uh, because left-handedness was considered evil, and parents feared their communities would shun their children. While we accept left-handedness more readily than days gone by, its occurrence hasn't increased. So damn, yeah, you got a devil living in your hand. <laughs> yep, stupid what sexy that? Flanders. Is, is that, what? So <laughs> sorry, I I, I, for, I keep forgetting that you never really watched The Simpsons. <laughs> So no, I know what you're talking about. So Ned Flanders, uh, the Simpsons neighbor, uh -huh. he's left-handed. Oh, okay. He's also devoutly Christian. Okay. And then on top of that, they do an episode where he, he thinks he's. Well, no, he he, he he tries to uh, like stop the connotation of like left-handedness and oh, Satan. Oh, really? So he makes a left-handed store, and it's this <laughs> huge success, right? Yeah. And Homer just fucking hates Ned so much. He just hates that it's a success, right? Mm -hmm. And I forget the rest of the story because the last time I saw the episode, I was like single digits. Oh, okay. But basically, uh, Ned Flanders makes Homer angry. By being successful and smart and funny. Okay. It's kind of shitty now. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> if you're left-handed, enjoy your day. Enjoy your I, day. I hope you find the perfect pair of scissors. They sell left-handed scissors now, though. Yeah, they do. But just think about, like, everything is just, like, made for right-handed people. I don't even think like, about even, it like, because Even, like, driving, video games, yeah. everything. I think I have this already, but... Oh, wow. Totally missed. Wow. Totally missed. Got it, though. No. My grandma's left-handed. Oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, she's left-handed. Well, Brittany, let's go ahead and move on into probably one of my favorite cuts of steak ever. It, today is okay. National <laughs> National Filet Mignon Day. All right. So Fancy steak day. It is fancy steak day. Now, I've... Uh, this used to be absolutely my favorite steak. Mm -hmm. It's the most tender steak. It's just, it's really, really nice. Delicious. Here's the thing. It's, it's kind of like monochromatic in flavor. It has one flavor. Okay. Whereas I've lately, I've been eating a lot of ribeye steaks mm -hmm. and ribeye steaks have like a, like you'll eat one part of the steak and it'll taste different than another part of the steak. Yeah. And I'm just like. The ribeye's really kind of getting close on my, like, ooh, do I like the ribeye more in the flame mini? Really? Now? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know what my favorite steak is? The one that you're eating? Uh, what? The one that you're eating? Oh, no. I was going to say crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's crab steak. <laughs> No, I really do. Yeah, Brittany, Brittany has one very much her favorite kind of meat, and that is crab legs. I um, actually don't eat a lot of steak. No, um, you've gotten more lately, though. You have lately. Yeah, so it's weird. I'll go for a long time and not want any sort of red meat, mm -hmm. you know, steak or anything. And then one day, years. I'll just get up and I'll be like, I want a steak so bad. And I have to have it. You went... And when I do eat steak, I eat them rare. So yeah. So I do like it really bloody. So you went like five years solid mm -hmm. not wanting any steak. I just steak. didn't want any steak. It just didn't seem appealing to me. And I was... And I it eat steak. It just didn't taste good, you know? 
I eat steak, like, at least twice a month. At least, if not more. Mm -hmm. Like, me and Brittany will go to the grocery store, and we'll be like, hey, what are we eating? Oh, whenever night, when we can't decide what to eat, and we both go to the grocery store and just get two separate things, Brian always gets steak. Always. Because Brittany never wants steak, so I, if it's just, like, a just me thing, I'll go get then me a cheap-ass steak. You can get you a nice steak, too. Yeah, since yeah. It's just you. So... Actually, I, I've been doing that a lot lately. Um, cause Hutch got that sous vide. I want to cook all the steaks, so yeah. but I need to get on that. Are you wanting to try it out? Are you raring to go? I'm raring to go, medium raring. Mm -hmm. Well, Brittany, that's not it. We got one more thing today. Okay. You know what goes great with filet mignon? What's that? Prosciutto prosecco wine. Prosciutto wine. Prosciutto wine. Prosecco. I love little chunks of prosciutto in my wine. Exactly. No, it's National Prosecco Day. What's Prosecco? Prosecco is a sparkling wine. Ooh, I'm already interested. Uh, prosecco is made from a variety of grapes, and one of the oldest is Glera. But pers uh, I keep on wanting to say prosciutto. Prosecco can be made from Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, and Pinot, Pinot Noir. I'm, I'm sure I mispronounced everything. Uh, primarily grown and bottled in the Veneto region of Italy. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Prosecco's draw is its elegant mousse. Mousse. I don't know what I am talking about right now. <laughs> <laughs> in wine speak, the mousse is the lovely persistent bubbles, giving it the sparkle that makes Prosecco so appealing for celebrations. Oh, cool. Thank you for explaining the thing I was thinking about. <laughs> thing i Brian copied and pasted obviously didn't read ahead he's i did like, not what is he's like questioning it as he's reading it like what is this yeah yeah along with the touch of uh sweetness usually dry light bodied and refreshing aromas and flavors of white spring flowers citrus fruits and green apples paired with a wallet friendly price tag prosecco excutes an easygoing sense of fun occasion and everyday celebration sounds like my kind of shit i know though. i was gonna say it's sweet sparkly and it's cheap Sign me the fuck up. Yeah, I, that's that's my kind of wine. Now we did have some wine. Did we ever tell this story? We got Are you back about to from tell the, the beach? Olive Garden wine. No, no. When we, <laughs> we were at the beach a couple like a weekend ago, and we just uh, Brian brought a box wine, and I made it sparkling box wine by adding lime, uh, La lime Croix. flavored Lacroix, Lacroix, Lacroix to it. It wasn't bad. It was okay. It was okay. The wine, it would have been better uh, if the wine well, was better. Well, it but. was a red, so it's a red box wine. <laughs> yeah, a red box wine, which is not my thing. And he, like, would never, like... I like my red wines chilled. Very chilled. And he... He just loves it. doesn't put cooler in it. Uh, ice okay, in his so cooler. we just taught him how to do <laughs> he that. He doesn't... I guess he just thought if he puts cold things in a cooler, just by themselves it would stay cool and it will stay cool for a little while well, but it's not the same you as have to ice have in ice it. in your cooler and he was like oh wow i didn't know that <laughs> i'm like wow poor sweet baby <laughs> he's a poor sweet little baby poor sweet baby rex road yeah hey hey Bar brian if you're watching i doubt you are <laughs> He'll just watch this one. He watches this one episode, episode. somehow <laughs> i'm gonna tune in this monday <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, Brittany, that's it for National Days today. But I feel like it was a pretty good national set of National Days. Yeah. So. That was great. But we got a whole bunch of birthdays. A whole mess of birthdays. A whole <laughs> mess of birthdays. A gaggle of them, even. A gaggle of birthdays. All right, guys. First and foremost, though, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Happy stinking birthday. We really do appreciate you <laughs> tuning in every single day, but especially on your birthday. Um... First and foremost, we got Sebastian Stan. I love his name because it's an alliteration and it's not also Sebastian. It's just a good name. I like the name Sebastian. I like I like the combination of Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan. It's two first names that actually go together. Anyways, he turns 36 years old today. Born in 1982. And he became known to audiences for playing Bucky Barnes in Captain America, The First Avenger. His role in the miniseries Political Animals earned him a Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Performance by a Supporting Actor. And in 2015, he portrayed Chris Beck in the film The Martian. The Martian. Oh, I need to rewatch that. That was a really good film. It was. It was better than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot more interesting than... Well, it was a lot more, like, humorous than I thought uh, it would be. A lot of space stuff gets really depressing and yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, so I always appreciate a little bit of humor, even if it's like mixed with some seriousness, you know? I think it's probably one of Matt Damon's best roles. Matt Damon! Because he got to be like super sciencey and whatnot. Mm hmm. And he was also got. He, he, it, Matt Damon can be charming as hell if you let him. Yeah. And no that, one lets him. But that was one of the few times that he was like not a dick. Mm hmm. Like in the other space movie, um, uh, Interstellar, he's a major dick in Is that one. Is he in one. that one? Yeah, he he's got a cameo in every fucking movie. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> no, I don't. He's in every fucking movie, but yeah, he's the guy. Spoilers and in Interstellar that caused them to the planet oh, that okay. has nothing on it. Oh, that's right. Gotcha. Yeah, I forgot. I, I remember that character, but I don't remember who it was played by. Mm -hmm. So I get Mark Wahlberg and Matt Damon mixed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. What, Sprinkles? Talk to me through the bushes. There we go. Oh, Sprinkle, do your own shopping. Well, Brittany, we got another <laughs> birthday today. It is also... This one's... um. <clears throat> <clears throat> a little, uh, a little, um, probably, people are probably wondering why we're celebrating this one. It's more just like a, hey, this was a historic figure. And uh, today is... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Who T is it, Brian? Today was Fidel Castro's birthday. Okay. Born in 1926, the infamous Cuban dictator and revolutionary who came to power in 1959 and served as his country's prime minister until 1976 and its president... From 1976 to 2008. Uh, he died at age 90 in 2016. All right. And then we're, the, everyone else is dead. Just just heads up. Everyone else is dead. Because this next person was born in 1860. No, they're still alive. They're still alive. Uh, it is Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. Yep. Sharpshooter who starred in Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. She could consistently shoot a playing card edge on from 27, uh, excuse me, um, edge on from 27 meters away. And she died at age 66 in 1926. Uh, mm -hmm. Largely considered the first American superstar. Really? Uh, first Amer female American superstar. She was known worldwide. Nice. That's cool. Um... It, that's kind of crazy to be like in a sideshow in the middle of the like the world and be known worldwide basically that's yeah. kind of nuts and then finally our last birthday today is alfred hitchcock born in 1899 the iconic director known as the master of suspense for his classic films such as psycho rear window north by northwest vertigo Dial M for Murder, and The Birds. One of the most influential filmmakers of all time, he directed over 50 feature films, and his work continues to circulate through film circles and classic movie channels. And he died at, in 1980 at age 80. Hmm. And then, of course, finally, if you have Tabby the Cat in your town... <laughs> Tabby the Cat. Tabby the Cat. Uh, they like sporty and black things, but nothing basic. Oh yeah, it's just still in our goth phase. We're still in our goth phase. I believe that's the last one the of last our goth one? phase. Yeah. Okay. Wow, you're all full of like hiccups and belches. And I'm got a lot things. of like wild energy inside of my belly. Wild energy. Wild energy, and it's coming out with little mouth sounds. Okay. How's the flowering going? Going good. I'm just kind of deciding like where to put stuff. So if you guys see me wandering back and forth and kind of like walking in places again and again, I'm um, just kind of looking around. Yeah. Kind of hey, some... we got someone here. Yeah, I figured I'd check them out after you're done talking. So well, we'll go in right now. There we go, because I'm done. So you want to hear something? Oh, God damn it. oh yeah. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> so I have been so busy uh, like trying to make special colors. Mm-hmm. But I actually need some of the other colors. <laughs> I need some basic colors? Yeah, I need some white pansies because I'm mixing white pansies in over here with purple flowers. Okay. Or just like white uh, pansies and white violets, which is like that lavender color. Yeah. So I'm going to have to plant some of those. Okay. Well, let's go in and uh, see who's visiting. Okay. 
Hey. Hey, it's a horse. Of course. It's Elmer. Elmer. Oh my goodness. I love it. The screen. Did he just say he ate a screen? No. I have to guess what he ate. And oh. then if I get a perfect score, he'll let me have it for free. Okay. Let's but if I lose, game. I have to buy it at market price. Whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, let's play. Let's let's let, let's play Elmer's um, game. I know them. Here we go. Did he eat the peach or the apple? Did did, did he just spun? <laughs> you have to guess the guessing game. Um, I think gonna, he ate the apple. Okay, let's. See. Yeah, he. He's, he's a, a horse. horse. Yeah. That makes sense. Can you guess two in a row? Let's see. What did he eat this time? Uh, the apple, of course. <laughs> the Aww. peach. All right, let's see. Here we go. Which one do you eat? The peach or the apple? I want to say the apple again. You do the apple all, yeah, the, way through, huh? all the way through. The peach. What, son of a bitch? You're a stupid horse. <laughs> <laughs> he's here for peaches. Uh, I get he's, it. He's coming to stay, t steal our peaches. Whoa, away. whoa. Yeah, yeah. Our Look, horse. you our did horse not peaches. need to eat our horse out. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to say that, but all right, you went there, did you? Like, I went there. Fine, it's like 10 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing like a good bit of love all right, in the morning. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, you. All right, I'm going to sell these. Oh and man! These. Yeah, these no wonder here. Peach is in such a good mood. Brian, please. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna inspire so much weird deviant art. Oh my god! Look, let me tell you something. You did it. I didn't, I you didn't said have to it. inspire anything. There's you so much deviant art it. without me. <laughs> oh man! Good old yes. deviant art. Giving people wink material for the oh worst my God. reasons. All right, that's enough. <laughs> All right, everybody, we'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Brittany's closing me off. I'm closing this guy off. He's drunk again. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Monday, and uh, yeah, bye. Bye.